Readings by Krumba and Belina. Well, after two weeks of traveling through the swamp, I've got the mail. Thank you so much for writing in to us. We're going to answer your questions right away. But I get to go first, right? Are you kidding me? I walked for two weeks straight. I'm going... All right. Our first letter is from Norma and Paul in New York City, and they ask, what are the answers to the universe? Are you kidding me? What do you think I am, Neil deGrasse Tyson? Let me see. The universe can be hard to comprehend because, like a human life, it is always expanding and contracting. Well, I think you should give yourselves permission to feel the forces of expansion and contraction in your own life. And also, if you haven't made cellar dressing with champagne vinegar, I highly recommend it. Hello again. Our next letter is from our dear friend Megan from Buffalo, New York. And she's asking, what are some of your favorite home remedies? Well, come to my crystal cave and I'll show you. And welcome to the crystal cave once more. You are always welcome here in my home. And I was thinking about your question, Megan. Home remedies. And I didn't know how to be specific. So I'll just teach you what I do with my crystals. <laughs> so here we go. If I have heartburn, I use my intuition and I find the stone that will help with my heartburn. Then I put that crystal right on the place where I feel my pain and I take deep breaths and keep my eyes closed and think about how the stone is helping me. Thank you so much for your letter. I hope it was helpful to you. And here's Grumba to answer the last letter. I hope no one asked her the recipe for frog muffins. Last but not least, our final letter of the day is from Cindy from Finland, who is asking, what is my favorite song? Well, Cindy, I've always considered myself to be a classical kind of a girl, so allow me to perform for you the campfire song from the 1981 smash hit Caveman with Ringo Starr. Ha ha! Well, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night.